and welcome back to another tutorial. Okay, so in this one, what we're looking at is messages. So we want to add messages to our social website. So let's get started. So one thing to keep in mind is that uh, we want to put a button here that is for messages, the same way uh, this one follow is. But that button will show something different depending on the situation. So for example, if let's say I am the owner of this uh, profile, it's going to write messages, right? Because once I click on it, I'm going to see my messages. But if I'm not the owner of the profile, it's going to write message because now it's telling me to message this person, okay? So then now what we need is uh, we're going to need two of these files. So the first file is going to be messages.php. Now this one is going to show all messages that we've uh, handled in, in the past and uh, like all previous messages if in case we have previous messages. And then if that's if there's only messages at the end just like you see in this URL there's profile and then instead of profile we're going to have messages and if there's no ID the same way there's an ID here then it will mean we are looking at all the messages but if there's an ID then we're going to retrieve just one thread which is the message ID for us there and then uh, the second uh, file is going to be message.php, which will contain just a single message the way post.php is for our posts here. Okay, but then we're going to also need um, a new message, right? So I forgot to actually write here. I'll copy this and just put it there for reference. So here, instead of an ID, we're going to have something like new. So messages slash new, and that will lead to a new thread so that we can start a new message with the user. Now, another important thing is that when the user clicks on message to message, wherever this one is, it's supposed to check if they have previous messages before, and then instead of creating a new message, it's going to take them to that one thread which they share so that we, they continue their messaging. All right, so let's begin here. Now, instead of starting from scratch, creating a page, uh, because we'll need those two pages, messages.php and message.php, what we will do is use what's already here. So for example, here, if I go to my own profile, there's obviously going to be edit and delete. So on the delete, if I click here, uh, this is good enough. I can use this for my messaging, uh, to list my messages. So I'm going to copy, because it already has this uh, header there, so I like that. So I'll go to uh, delete.php. So in my text editor here, I have profile.php. First of all, let's go to profile.php. I'll leave delete for a moment. So I want to create the message thingy here. So let's go down here to the HTML and let's look for where it says um, follow, I think that's what it is. Okay, so there we go. So we have this part that says follow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so follow is open to everyone. And where else is this? Um, wait a minute, I want to see things that only show for the particular user. So let's look at uh, maybe settings, is it? Okay, so this is settings here. So this is the if statement that we need in order to only show when a user owns the profile. So we're going to need that. So here what I will do is duplicate the follow, duplicate there, including its link as well. So make sure you copy that as well. Okay. All right, so here we will not be putting um, any number here, though we will eventually when 
the user comes to see their own messages. The way it is here, it says follow, and there's a number three. In case the user has three or four unread messages, we're going to put that there. Or we could just put something here, just like the notifications there. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, we'll remove that. And then we're going to say messages, like so, and hit save. So this now is going to go to messages. Okay. And here I am not going to use this user. And then here I will need, uh, actually, I don't need any of this. It's just go, to, it's just go to messages. That's it. So let's refresh our page. And now you see we have messages. So we can recolor this a little bit different. Let me inspect the element and then I will change the background color just so we can uh, have a difference here where we look at messages. Yeah, just a different color there. So that's entirely up to you how you want to do it. I will copy this and bring it here for background color and a paste. Goody. Okay, good. Now, the only problem here we have is that now uh, let me close this. Now this line is uh, wrapping around here. So I don't want that. So I just want to leave enough room to have buttons here and there. So to do that, I'll simply go here where there's this break tag. Let me close this gap a little bit and just duplicate this break tag there. Okay. Duplicated break tag and let's refresh our page and that's it so that we have this line and that line there. Okay, so pretty good. Now, I wanted to say messages only for my profile and then message for not my profile. So let's get this if statement right here, which we said is required. So I will come here and put it right there. And let me move this. Um, if statement here so here I'll say if and leave this if statement here I won't put the bracket like so I'll just close that and then I'll put the full colon there okay so that we can still use HTML down here and then I will do some PHP tags again and then I'll say and and if oops and then put a semicolon there and close that tag like so. Okay. All right, but we want an else here, an else statement. So let me undo and duplicate that. So I will do an else, I'll say else, full colon. Now the reason it's a full colon is because when there's an if statement, this is kind of like an if statement. The same way we put a full colon there, we'll put full. We only put a semicolon to end the whole thing. So else, let me uh, push that in, copy that, and paste it there as well. And then instead of messages, uh, we'll put message. So if user uh, ID is the same as the one in the session, which means this is my page, I want messages. But if it's not, I want message like that. Okay, so let's refresh this and see what we get. So I get messages. If I go to another user, I get message. Okay, pretty good. Now, uh, let's come back here, just a second. Okay, so, so far so good. And this one should lead to, both of them should lead to messages.php. Okay, now there should be a difference, of course, between this one and this one. So message is for starting a new message. So we're just going to put the link there like so. New, like that. Okay, good. And this one is just, it would just be like this so that we load all the messages at once. Okay, so we have that out of the way. Now let's create the uh, messages.php page. So like I said, we're going to copy the delete.php page so let me just go to the actual folder. Uh, where are we? I am completely lost now. 
wrong folder. And in here, I want to copy delete.php. So I'll copy and paste it. Then I will rename it to messages.php. Okay, pretty good. I will now click to open. So everything here will remain the same, except we will change a lot of these things later. For example, um, we don't need a referrer here. So all this will go. No such post was found. All this will go. So except this part here. So what I will do is just delete everything here. Post is equal to new post. No, no, no. Uh, classes, uh, that's fine. Okay. Login, we must check if the user is logged in. So this is fine. This is okay up to here. So let's remove that. Unless we get here to where something was posted. And then of course we will change what's in here, but let's leave it for now. And then now we'll go here and let's change that to messages. Okay. And what else do we need to change? Of course here, um, post delete.php should change to message.php. Now message.php, I want to make a copy as well, but I'll get this copy from uh, comments.php because let's come back here to where comments are just for a second here. And uh, let's get something with a lot of comments. Let's go here. So as you can see, these comments here, they're kind of like uh, the way messages would probably look. So I think we can steal uh, some of this. So this is why I will use, uh, I will use comment.php. Where is comment.php? There we go. Copy and paste and change it to message. Dot PHP. Now, in some cases, if you want to be more, to make a huge change between messages.php and message.php, since we're going to be including message.php, you can put .inc, short for include, and then .php at the end. So just uh, as a way to organize your files better. Okay, so that's up to you. But uh, in here, we're not going to do that because we haven't been using that convention anyway. So I'll I'll do that and I will open that file too. So we have messages and we have message.php. Okay, so most of this will remain the same, except instead of uh, things like gender, wait a minute. No, actually all this remains the same, except where there's the comment itself, we're going to change that. Okay, so, so far, so good. This is what we need to begin. So let me come back here and let's go to click on messages. Okay, but for us to be able to create some early messages first, we must go to the new version. So I'll go to another person's profile and click message. Bam. Okay, so we get this and so much to clean up here. And that's what we're going to do in the next video.